everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Maruka wishes to be a bear. A sailboat suddenly appears out of the fog. Had pirates attacked it? There doesn't appear to be any sign of life. The crew who discovered this mysterious <laughs> ship managed to make their way on board. Uh, what's going on here? On the table, they found coffee still steaming and unfinished meals. Can't be! There's nobody on board! What had happened to the ship's crew? Why had they suddenly disappeared? Could it be that the crew was in fact sucked into an alternate dimension, never to return? They were all sucked into an alternate dimension? Oh. Uh, I'm scared! <laughs> Maruka! <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness, you startled me. Yeah, right back at you with that, Mom. Boy, you just shortened my life by about three years. Don't be silly, you're fine. And by the way, have you done all of your homework yet? You have to turn it in tomorrow, right? Huh? Wait, how do you know about that, Mom? I ran into Maruo on my way home from shopping. He said it was due tomorrow and told me to remind you. Oh, man, Maruo needs to mind his own business. Stop complaining hey. and do your homework uh, right now! Fine. Come on! Uh, can't I stay home? You're the one who left your handwriting drills at school, so you need to go and get them right now. But it's really cold out. Children belong outdoors. You mean like a dog or something? Go and get your homework. Uh, it's cold. I think I would rather just get scolded for not handing in my homework than be forced to go outside in this, Mom. No way! You're going to get that homework! <laughs> No. Maruko, how about I head to the school with you? Huh? Oh boy, this cold goes right through to the bone. <laughs> I've never been this cold. Uh, what a happy child he is. He can play in a nice warm room while I've been driven out in the rain. Will there ever be an end to the cruelty of my wicked mother? You're the one who left your stuff at school. Cheer up, kiddo. Let's keep trudging on. <sighs> the next day. It was raining and there was an awful wind. I was convinced I was going to get frostbite all over me. Yeah, it was crazy cold yesterday, wasn't it? Uh, I really uh -huh. can't wait until springtime. I'm going to stay inside until then. You sound just like a bear. Huh? A bear? Mm-hmm. I read about them in a book the other day. Apparently, they hibernate all winter long in a hole in the ground called a den. When spring finally arrives, they emerge into the world. Yeah. But won't the bear get hungry if it sleeps for weeks on end? I read that they gorge themselves on food. That way, they're able to survive the entire winter. 
cool. If you slept during the winter, you wouldn't need to experience cold. Wow, I finally found something lazier than me. <laughs> Bears don't hibernate because they're lazy, Maruko. They do it because there's no food in winter. So when you wake up, it's a cozy, warm spring day. I'm jealous. Being a bear sounds like the most amazing thing. On Sunday. What? That's totally unfair, Mom. Why can't we just drop by a restaurant or amusement park? We're going to the department store to buy some gifts, not waste our time along the way. Fine. Buy me something like a toy. And it wouldn't kill you to get me some clothes. No. I don't have the time or money to be wasted on frivolous things. Boo. Maruko. My goodness, you haven't even changed yet? You're gonna get left behind. I was thinking maybe I'll just stay at home. That's better than being made to hold bag after bag while Mom shops. You can't stay. Grandma and Grandpa are going out the whole day, and your father is away fishing. You'd be bored out of your mind. Uh, I want to stay. It's really cold outside. I'll be much warmer at home. I see. Well, in that case, I'll buy you some pudding while I'm shopping. Look after the house while we're gone. Ahem. Just leave it to me. It looks cold. I'm glad I decided to stay home. Well, what should I do? No one's at home. Maybe I'll take a long nap first. Huh, <laughs> great idea. And now I'll just tuck this little bit into here like that. Mmm, now I have my very own bear's den. What's next? <laughs> this, and this, uh, and some comic books too. <laughs> Why do we only ever have plain-looking snacks? What's that? Well, a snack's a snack in the end. Everything turned out perfect! <laughs> this is great! Oh, I feel like I can hibernate all winter now. Ooh. <laughs> I am like a bear. I'm gonna sleep in my den. Sakura-san! Uh -huh. Who is that? Why does someone have to come knocking right when I get cozy? I just need your stamp here, please. Oh, hold on a second. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Maybe here? Thanks, Mr. Mailman! Uh, I got cold while I was looking for the stamp. I need to warm up. Eh? Great, now the phone's ringing! Oh! No, sorry, this is the Sakura residence. <laughs> Uh, it's cold. I'm not going to answer the door or the phone. I don't care who the person is. Oh, great! Now I'm warm again. I really have to use the bathroom. This is the worst thing that's ever happened! Uh, no, I'll hold it a little longer. Ah! Uh, that's it! I've reached my limit! Uh, that was a close call. <laughs> Come on, who's bothering me now? Here, for you. Wow, looks delicious. Uh, but why? Your mom dropped by on the way out. She said you were home alone. And would I mind coming to check on you at some point throughout the day? Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I hope you enjoy your time alone. If you need anything, don't hesitate to come see me. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. <laughs> Meat bun, meat bun, cup of tea, cup of tea. A nice hot meat bun for my super hungry tummy. I should eat it while it's still hot. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> oh no, oh no! I need to wipe it up! <laughs> I'm so cold. Oh, it went cold while I was out cleaning the spill. It's no use. I'll have to ask Mom to reheat it for me when she gets home. <sighs> My hibernation day is completely ruined. Oh, of course! I can still use my sister's futon! Dang. Right, it's done! <laughs> Hey, hey, I never noticed how much more fluffy and comfortable Sis's futon is than my one. Oh, I'm tired. 
Okay, nothing's gonna make me leave this den again. I'm gonna be a bear until spring. <sighs> Let's make it a little darker. Oh my goodness, I completely lost track of the time. Maruko, your time of solitude has come to an end. Oh, oh. has Maruko gone out or something? Who? Oh. But, but, but her shoes are here. Oh. She isn't here. Uh. Maruko, are you here? Uh. Hey, it's a meat bun. Half eaten. Uh, oh no. Don't tell me Maruko was sucked into an alternate dimension. No, no way. Maruko! We're home! Oh. Trouble! Big, big trouble! Goodness, what's the matter, Grandpa? M M Maruko's in a different dimension! Huh? All that's left is her shoes and a half-eaten bun. I can't find her anywhere! <laughs> Grandpa, please, just calm down. Uh, hey, Mom, maybe that's why she didn't pick up when we telephoned her. You think some kind of criminal might have broken in and kidnapped her? What? Maruko! Maruko! Answer me, Maruko! Maruko! Oh. Maruko, where did you get to? Maruko? Wake up! Maruko! Is it spring already? Would you mind explaining what you're doing in the closet? Uh, well, you see, I was trying to be like a bear and hibernate through the winter, Mom! <laughs> I asked you to look after the house while I was out! And how dare you cover my nice clean futon in your crumbs! You're, you're a sob, Maruko! Maruko. Uh, Facing an angry mother and sister, Maruko felt the urge to play dead, just like you do with real life bears. In this episode, will Salmon swim up Tomoy River? Salmon that ventured out to the ocean and traveled around the world eventually returned to the river they were born in to spawn. Wow, so they remember the river they were born in and make their way back there without fail? I guess so. Boy, those salmon sure are a smart bunch of fish, huh? You know, I think I get lost just about every time I walk between here and the store. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a bit worrying. The next day. <laughs> huh? Yamada. <laughs> Yamada, why are you hanging out on the bridge? I'm keeping an eye out for Salmon. Yeah? I saw them on TV yesterday! I saw that show too. But do Salmon ever swim up the Tomoe River? Yep. They should be coming up any day now. I'm not so sure about that. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna be late! Uh, Yamada, we have to be quick! Okay. Come on, hurry up, hurry up! <laughs> Salmon? Hmm. I saw a documentary yesterday about how they travel up rivers, but Yamada told me they swim up to Moy River as well. What? Is it true? Yeah, it's true, Joe. Uh huh? Salmon love to swim up to Moy River, Joe. Splash, 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 splash. Hey, what's this about salmon? Huh? They swim up to Moy River too? Well, I'm not so sure about that. As soon as they do, I'm gonna catch me one! Uh, let's try this book. Nagayama-kun. Uh, hey, what brings you guys to the library? See this? We're gonna do a little bit of research on salmon. Yeah! Salmon are born from eggs hatched in rivers. Then they swim out to the open sea so they can grow bigger. They all travel around the world's vast oceans for around four years. And after that period, they return to their home river in order to procreate. Wow. So from the way I understand it, they won't come back to Tomoe River unless they were born here in the first place. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Well, when I think of salmon, I think of Hokkaido. Mm. 
It says in this book that salmon are more attracted to colder climates. It seems they're only in the cold river at Hokkaido and the northern parts of the country. So will they come up to Moi River or not? The climate in Shimizu is too warm. The salmon won't swim upstream here. What? Seriously? Hey, it's pretty amazing that they can find the river they were born in, don't you think? I wonder how. <sighs> oh! Maybe it's because they remember the flavor of their home. They find their way back by sensing the smell of the food they remember. Wait, are we talking about salmon or you here? <laughs> He's actually right, you know. What? According to this book, salmon remember the smell of the river they were born in. They find their way back based on that smell. Wow, that's amazing. Wait, it says here that some salmon make a mistake. They're sometimes found lost in the southern areas. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that salmon could be so scatterbrained. You think maybe they're related to me? <laughs> That's hilarious! Salmon are like Maruko! It's not funny when it comes from you! So, does that mean that salmon could possibly come to Tomoe River to breed by mistake? Well, yeah, it does seem like a possibility. What are we sitting around here for? Let's look for salmon! He's right! Let's do it! Yeah! yeah! Hey, salmon! I don't think there's any salmon in this river, guys. Oh, I think you're right. I once found an eel in the river. Oh. Really? Is food the only thing you ever think about, Kosugi? Sort of. I just like salmon, but salmon rolls good too. I love that salmon spawns such delicious rows. It's so considerate of them. Boy, I had the tastiest salmon roll Ishimatsu Sushi restaurant one time. So salmon roll is what a salmon spawns? Hold on, does that mean that salmon come out of salmon roll? Hmm, that's right. So if we release salmon hatched out of salmon rolls in Tomoe River, they might come back when they're fully grown. Good idea, that might just work. Yay, yay! We've got a plan, so let's do it, guys! Soon I can eat all the salmon I want! Right! I now dubbed this group the Society to Make Salmon Swim Up to Moy River! Sounds good! Mm, that's a catchy name! So we're in agreement! Yeah! yeah! So tell me, guys, how exactly do we go about this, then? Yeah, good point. Nobody knows the river like Kawada. Huh? <laughs> I definitely just heard you say Yamada. I'm useful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm useful. Well, let's go see if Kawada yeah. thinks it's even possible. <laughs> yeah, they say Shall it. we just head over to his house now? <laughs> hey, they're selling salmon. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> ah, I see salmon roll. Need some help? Excuse me, how much is a salmon roll? Hey. <laughs> 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 So, you kids come here just to buy salmon roe, huh? Not quite, Joe. Well, we want to make the salmon hatch in the Tomoe River. Eh? So that's the plan. We're making salmon swim up Tomoe River. Sorry. I've got some bad news for you kids. Salmon aren't going to hatch from that row. Huh? They're completely soaked in soy sauce. That's so sad. Give us one without soy sauce. Sorry, son. I just don't have any right now. Oh. Looks like Kawada's our last chance. I'm sure he'll help us figure out how to get salmon to hatch in the river. You're right! Let's go! Yeah, Kawada raises all kinds of different fish. You never know, he might even be raising salmon right now. He's out. Now what? His wife said he'll be home later, but that doesn't help us. We founded the Society to make salmon swim up to Moy River, right, guys? So why haven't we achieved anything yet? Hmm. Oh. Uh. Oh. I have a plan. Huh? Salmon prefer to live in clean water, don't they? Huh? <laughs> so you're thinking we need to clean up to Moy River, right? Hmm. Great plan. Hooray! We've got a plan of action! Yay! Oh, right. yeah. Whoa! A get a joke! Yamada, don't wear that thing, it's dirty! Wow. So, we didn't really find that much garbage. 
Yeah, from what I hear, Kawada cleans here all the time. Well, that's just perfect then. Our salmon will have clean water. We just need to hope the water here is cold enough. Hey, I've got an idea. If we need cold water, why don't we just throw in a bunch of ice? But how much ice do you think we would need to make it cold enough? Uh... Huh? I'm very happy to see you guys clean up Tomoe River. That's wonderful. I see how hard you work all the time now. So then, what's she up to? It's salmon, Joe. We want to make them swim up the river, Joe. Yeah? Are you serious? Mm. We're thinking about releasing salmon into Tomoe River, so that way they'll come back here a few years later in order to spawn. Mm. In order to do this, we founded the society to make salmon swim up Tomoe River. So we wanted to ask for your advice on this matter. Uh-huh, I see. I'm sorry to break it to you kids, but salmon just won't swim up Tomoe River. What? I'm afraid the water in Tomoe River is just too warm for salmon to survive in. I see. That's what we were afraid of. Oh. Uh. Mm. Uh. Hey, kids, huh? come here a minute. Huh? Huh? Wow! Yeah. Look at those baby fishes! They're adorable! So you like them? They're the young of sweet fish. I got them from an acquaintance of mine today. Cool! I'm taking them back home to raise them. Then I'll release them in Tomoe River in spring. After that, they'll swim to the ocean where they'll grow up and come back years later. They're very similar to salmon. Oh. We may not have salmon here, but we have plenty of other fish in Tomoe River. And in order to keep fish living in the waters of this river, I plan to watch over it and keep it safe for further generations to come. In that case, our society wants to help you with it, Joe! Yeah, that's right. Even though our salmon society might be in ruins now, we're now called the Society to Wait for Sweetfish to Come Back. Mm. Let's do it! Salmon's yeah. good, but sweetfish is tasty, too! Is there a conversation that you don't turn back to food? <laughs> so they weren't able to make salmon swim up the river. But as a group, they all decided that they would protect the river for the sake of sweetfish.